Hello and welcome to another update video about Dot. Let's take a look at the short-term bullish and short-term bearish scenarios on the Dot chart. First of all, um, to clarify, they are both overall bullish. Just in one of them, we can expect a deeper pullback. Have to consider that. And we have to know which levels need to break to give us a signal that this is unfolding. In addition to that, um, it's worth knowing that the move to the upside is not an impulse, but probably a diagonal pattern, which makes the entire chart a little bit more messy. And then um, you might remember from previous videos that we highlighted that so far, this move to the upside was only a three wave move. Okay, that means in the yellow count, which is short term bullish, I count this as a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, wave four possibly complete, and we could now be in wave five. This is a diagonal pattern scenario. Again, a little bit more messy than an impulse, but also potentially bullish. Okay, and what are the conditions for that? In this scenario, the wave five would be an ABC structure because in these diagonals, the waves one, three, five, well, two and four as well, they are all corrective structures. Yeah, I mean, there are exceptions. There are diagonals in which waves one, three, and five are um, five wave moves, but that's extremely rare. In most cases, they are corrective, which is also why I have labeled the subwave structure of wave five as an ABC. Okay. So um, in this scenario, the price in a wave five should reach at least $10.21 better $10.83 plus. Yeah? So typically for a wave five, sort of the ideal target is sort of, yeah, I mean, 11.78, in this case, the 1.786 or the $13.10 level, 200% extension. However, the third wave was shallow. So from that point of view, you know, maybe we'll only reach 10.83. Minimum expectations, you know, are typically fulfilled once a, five, a fifth wave creates a high above the third but we'd like to see a more, you know, a convincing break at least. After these five waves, then we should see a deeper pullback, a corrective pullback, um, because if we get five waves, we can call that a wave one. And the pullback would be a three wave correction in a wave two. Okay, so that's worth knowing. Um, however, what are the conditions? I mean, I mentioned the target. What does now need to happen to get this uh, structure into reality basically right so first of all we are currently experiencing here a little bit of a pullback I mentioned in one of the previous videos this resistance area we saw an initial reaction I mentioned a pullback is now the most likely scenario we've seen that pullback that pullback has retraced to um, first of all the 38.2 retracement level so far we are forming higher highs and higher lows and the trend line here is holding so pay attention to the trend line. This resistance area logically needs to break in order for the fifth wave to unfold further towards the specified target area, which means ideally this trend line holds now and we see a reaction here to the upside very shortly and we see a break above 887. Once we see a break above 887, which is by the way, also here where that previous structural resistance level is sitting, well, then we can probably watch um, or look up to first of all $9.60, which is the third wave high, and then the Fibonacci levels that are visible here on the chart. That would be ideal. We should avoid a break below $6.85 because that would already shift probabilities towards the white count, which is short term bearish. But until then, you know, until we make a lower low, um, I think this yellow count can play out, and I'm watching for it to materialize. We just need uh, some kind of a reaction here in this region before breaking below 685. But yeah, eventually below the fourth wave low, below 650, I think it's confirmed that this C wave to the downside is unfolding. And that takes us to the short term bearish scenario in which the price formed only three waves up in an A wave into the December highs. This now is a B wave pullback. And the problem is this looks actually really good. A wave, B wave, reaction to resistance, and then the C wave down. You know, this, this looks really good. So if we now see those levels break, that would be confirmation for the C wave, which might take us into the region here between 584 and 439. 
From here, I would also expect a reaction, even though ABC structures overall, this would turn into a larger ABC that will make the long-term chart far less clear. But it would still be short-term bullish, and I'm exploring bullish options because the market is currently a bullish market at the moment, despite the current pullback in the market. Um, below $4.39, however, I have nothing clearly bullish left on this chart, and we might see new bear market lows. So just highlighting here the key levels for you, you know, 439 is really the main bullish support level for the move that started in October here and ended in December, end of December. That's the main bullish support for an accelerated bullish support level uh, scenario, for an accelerated bullish scenario, the $6.50 level needs to hold better would be $6.85. So hopefully that, um, that's, uh, that that, that uh, is easy to understand or at least somewhat uh, somewhat understandable one more thing I would like to mention is that okay if this ABC structure in white plays out where could the C wave possibly land and I can really only give you a, a fixed target once we have the B wave low in place but let's just assume the price might pull back to $5.84 then we're looking at minimum expectations for wave C around $15.60. Further extensions always possible, for example, towards $19.67, which would be the next Fibonacci extension level afterwards. That's my update about DOT. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.